Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Black Hole, and thank you for watching. Black Hole is a puzzle platformer game, guys, and the developers refer to the game as a hardcore platformer, which, to be honest with you guys, isn't far from the truth. This game is not easy. It's a rather difficult game. It could be a frustrating game at times, guys, to say the least. It released on Steam February 2015. It was developed and published by Viola Soft Studios. You can go ahead and get Black Hole on Steam for the indie standard price of $14.99. There's also a collector's edition for $24.99, which includes a whole bunch of goodies like an art book, the soundtrack, uh, and apparently some exclusive DLC that is coming in April, which I hope they, you know, offer an opportunity for people who didn't purchase the collector's edition to get that DLC. I don't like barred content. That's just a personal thing, though. It's their game. They can do what they want. Now, Black Hole has a very diverse cast of characters, guys, and a very intriguing story, and that's kind of what drew me to this game. I saw the preview, and I was like, wow, I want to know more about these characters. I want to see more of that humor. I, you don't see that kind of humor in a puzzle platformer game most of the time. Most of the time they're very somber, very serious. And I was kind of excited by the idea of a game that was kind of, didn't take itself too seriously. That was just willing to just have a little bit of fun and maybe a couple of jokes here and there, but still have some really cool puzzle platforming elements. And it does do that. Black Hole does accomplish that. Uh, I just think that sometimes it treats it like a carrot at the end of a stick. It doesn't, it gives it to you after you beat a couple levels. You know, after you accomplish a goal, it gives you those scenes, it gives you that humor. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily give it to me as much as I would personally like, but you'll see what I mean in a bit, guys. We're going to go ahead and start off with the settings. And the settings are a little bit strange. I'm going to just warn you off right now, off the top of the, top of the video here, guys. Uh, you do have some profile choices here. If you have multiple people playing the, the game, I should say, you can have multiple profiles uh, for multiple people. Uh, this is the game settings. There's a couple game languages. I do believe this is Czech. But you know what? Last time I said that this was a particular language, I got in trouble and I was wrong. So it's whatever language that is. Haha, -ha, there you go. Uh, there is subtitles, of course, English and the other language. There's voice language, voiceover work, which is fantastic in this game, by the way. English and the other language. Now, there's a couple options here that are missing, like gameplay style and connection. I have no idea what those are. I have no idea when they're going to come in. I don't even know why they're there if you can't use them. Um, but it is, I guess it's something they're letting you know they're eventually going to add. Which is a little bit strange, I will admit, for a final release game. Um, you know, just to have a couple of things missing like that. And that's not just it, there's more. Like, there's absolutely no resolution control in this game. Um, and the game does go up to 1080p, but I cannot film it in 1080p because, uh, it causes some sort of a fatal memory error. My recorder does not get along with this game at all uh and every time i tried to record it it would just crash the game i don't know why it did that uh but yeah it would say fatal memory error the game would freeze my recording software would freeze so i had to lower the resolution down but it does go up to 1080p natively you basically just hit full screen and it goes right to that you have some game resolution right there game changes i should say subtitles all that good kind of stuff you do have some graphics manipulation here um all of it's really simplistic. You don't really have to. You can you can go through it all and set it by custom, but basically I have it on the highest setting, and it just kind of does it for you automatically. And that's kind of all of the uh, options here. There's some uh, sound sliders. There's the option to mute the characters, but that's again not there for some reason. Uh, controller support. That is a thing that is frustrating for me. On the Steam page, it says full controller support. It, it's it's not true. Um, I, my Logitech controller doesn't even blink it's not even alive uh and i've been having to play the game with the keyboard and mouse which is just fine i mean it, you know the keyboard and mouse works um but i can't find a way to access the controller support as far as i know controls are coming soon so maybe it's not even in the game yet so that's also a possibility um so it when it says full controller support that will be eventually hopefully uh but as of right now either it leans towards the xbox 360 crowds or it's just not working at all depending on uh, your situation. I don't really know because I don't have an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, there's also a couple of extra things missing here in the front menu, like the extra and the challenge vault that will hopefully be all coming. Or I haven't unlocked any extras, that's also very possible. So we're gonna get into the game finally, guys. We're gonna continue here. And in this game, basically, one thing I really, really do like about it is um, 
it kind of like the floor is jelly there's like a hub world a world that you basically are going through to access all of your boards essentially and this is kind of it right here this is the hub world the hub world in itself is a puzzle is a platforming challenge you need to basically get to the levels so as you can see these little glow gold glowing things are levels right there for instance like that one right there but some of them are more harder to reach spots than others like let's see if i can show you what i mean by that um like here but i think this should give you an example like one of them is behind this thing one of them is up there they're kind of all over the place sometimes they're very difficult to reach and you kind of need to play with the hub world as much as you play with the levels themselves and i really liked that aspect to uh black holes here guys first we're gonna go back to the ship though because i actually wanted to save this just specifically for filming i'm experiencing a little bit of slowdown um Again, I just think that's just because my uh, my recorder does not get along with this game whatsoever. So the, the story, the intro, I should say, is rather long. It's lengthy. You meet all the characters. I'm not going to spoil it for you because it's it's one of the better... It's one of the things I like about this game, so I feel like it should be something you should see for yourself and enjoy. Uh, but you basically crash. You don't know where your crew is. Very simplistic stuff. You're finding these little balls that are called like nanobots that can fix your ship. I'm not sure if they're called nanobots. Like, I, I forget what they're called. Um, and I'm about to do that, so we're about to see what happens with- oh, self-burns, I guess that's what they're called. We're about to fix this ship, we're gonna see what happens when we use- Great, you're doing awesome! We have enough self-burns, so we repaired the pressure chamber. Great job! Now the ship's entrance is accessible. Of course, it isn't completely functional yet, and we can't get into some of the quarters, but it's a good start. Okay, so as you can see, as you basically beat more and more levels, you're gonna start getting accesses to different parts of your ship, I guess. So, like, for instance, we're now entering our destroyed vessel right now, which is absolutely trashed, if I had to guess. Sorry, but the ship's condition is not good enough to go on the bridge. We require more self-burns. Okay, so we need to obviously get access to that before we can access the bridge. So we're just going to run through the ship really quick. This is just... You can see this at the beginning of the game, basically. You can kind of run around it. I'm just curious to see if there's anything in this place. I doubt it. There's the core of the vessel. Uh, it looks like there's some hidden levels here also. These little red marks basically represent levels that you eventually will probably get access to. I don't think... Is that an invisible wall there? Yes, it is. All right. So there really isn't much more to the ship, but you get the basic idea. There's a hub world here, and you kind of have to manipulate the hub world just to get to the levels. You have to solve some puzzles just to even get to the puzzles, and I really like that aspect to it. As you saw, there was some voice work there. That was the AI... Um, who is going kind of guiding your main character you don't play the multiple playing characters you play yourself you play this character that you create he's the new guy um and you basically she's helping guide you uh you know you're trying to help find the other crew members and guiding you in general about the you know, the different things that you might encounter in this game so let's let's talk about what you're looking at right here obviously a very minimalistic ui there really isn't much more to it. I'm using my keyboard uh, to play the game. You have the arrow keys that press up and down. You have the M button, which allows you to look around. You can basically press the M button and kind of shift the camera around. And that's basically it right now. That's all you really can do. You can grab onto ledges and basically haul yourself up. You can basically push down and slide down walls of ledges also. So like so, whoops, but there you go. Well, we'll, you'll see it later on. But you get the basic idea. The controls are very simplistic. Um, as far as responsiveness goes, uh, your character falls like a lead brick, which I am sure is on purpose. Um, but it can get very frustrating sometimes dealing with this particular guy. Oh, by the way, if you fall too far, you die, as you can imagine. So this is just an example of one of the levels you'll be playing in the game here, guys. You have to collect these things right here. They're the little balls there. And if you can collect all three of them, you basically, you know, get the maximum. It's like a stars thing, I guess you could say. You get the maximum stars. Uh, but you don't have to collect them all if you don't really want to. You can just be like, okay, well, I'm going to collect some. It's a miracle I didn't die there. I'm going to collect some, but um, I'm not going to go for all of them. So where is that last one? Let me think. press the M button here, look around. That was another thing that kind of find, I've noticed that sometimes when I press the M button and go to look around, I'll still keep moving occasionally, and that is more than screwed me over once. Uh, oh, it's right there. Duh, it's right there. 
Okay. So as you can see, there's a little timer on the top right. Right there is also a thing that tells you how many there are in the game to, or the area to collect. In this case, it was just three. Uh, these little glowing things. This is what shifts gravity. If you haven't figured that out yet, you basically just walk onto it, and it shifts that gravity to that particular angle. Really self-explanatory. And they play with that element quite a bit as you move deeper and deeper into the game. It gets very, very difficult, to say the least. After you beat a level very, uh, you know, puzzle game-esque, you're going to get a timer, how well you did, how many you collected. There's that speed running aspect to it, or perfectionist aspect to it. Um, eventually, you'll be able to compare your score to other players, from what I understand. It'll be like a leaderboard type of thing going on here. Uh, right now there isn't though, uh, but there will be that eventually. So we basically complete levels more and more, and some of the levels, like I said, can get ridiculously difficult uh, to the point where I'm like just ripping my hairs out. Um, and that is one thing that I will say is that Black Hole is a fun game, but it can be very frustrating. Oops. Black holes got broken and turned this place upside down. It created several hundreds of thousands of universes in just a single moment. We are an entity in an entity, one that survived its own collapse into itself, a destruction of breathtaking proportions. So we are on an entity. Stop me if I'm talking nonsense. We understand each other so well. Just letting her do some talking there. As you can see, like I said, there's a lot of awesome voice work. The AI does talk quite a bit. Uh, in this particular level, there's several other elements. As you can imagine, just like any other puzzle game, they're going to start adding more uh, things for you to be worrying about. In this case, the, the, the thing on the top right, left there is lava. The top left, I should say, is lava. If I step into that, I die instantly. There's, there's a couple of instant death scenarios uh, in this game that you're going to be encountering. The stuff to the right is, well, jelly water is the best way to describe it. It is water, kind of. It behaves like water, but... It behaves like water that shoots you out, basically. So you need to, if there's something inside of it, you need to, um, like, you need to find a way to kind of counteract the fact that it's kind of like, oh, it's trying to bounce it back. You can also use that bounce ability to your advantage, as you'll see right here. It kind of, I used its, its, um, bounciness to literally bounce myself out of the water and get on this ledge right here. How do I get this one? I forget. I forget this one. There's five particular um, self-burns that we need to get here. I'm not quite sure how you get them. I kind of don't remember all that well. But this is just one example of one particular puzzle, guys. I could grab my three that I have right now and then just simply leave if I so chose. Uh, how do you get that one? Can't do that. Huh. And one other thing I will say is that you spend a lot of time kind of traversing the, the, the terrain and trying out different strategies to get things like that. That's obviously not working right there. So we're going to change the gravity of the fur. And we're going to try to find a new way to get to that one. Gosh dang it. Uh, yeah, you basically spend a lot of time kind of traversing the same territory over and over again trying to figure out how to get to particular... Um, something to do with this, doesn't it? Eww. Eww. Okay, that's not working. Um, hmm. Hmm. Thinking. Brain. Working. There's a lot of experimentations with each board. I will say that much, like I said. Oh, okay, so I see what we gotta do there to get that one. We gotta just gotta climb up. Ah, so four out of five. Fantastic. And then how the balls do we get this one? Come on, give me a hint here, game. Give me give me something. They're like, nope. There is absolutely no hint system in the game, by the way. Uh, you could hit the space bar. It'll show you right here. This resets the dialogue. You can see the challenges. Settings. Where are challenges? We'll explore that in a second. We're going to see if we can get this fifth one. If we can't, we'll just end the board. I don't want to get stuck on one board for too long, but this is just an example of the different kinds of puzzle you face. Oh yeah, in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and end the level right now. We're just going to go ahead and cl climb out. You don't have to grab all of them. Um, how do I end this level? There we go. 
that's up there. Gosh, son of a... Don't you dare fall into that lava, man. I will so be pissed. Uh, so let's climb up here. There we go. Bouncity. All right. We should be able to end the level now. I'll come back there and eventually figure out how to grab that one. But for now, four out of five isn't bad. And it does allow you to progress. Uh, it's not like it stops you from progressing. You can grab one and continue forward. I'm not sure if there's ever a particular amount you need. Oh. We need self burns to repair the ship. You already know that. Here are the parts we need: atomic neutral particle collector, arc devic acno radio transmitter, negative waves equalizer, <laughs> ignition regulator, isotope fields indicator, and the golden chip. If we find them, we'll be able to start the ship and fly away. I have to admit, though, they are very rare, last parts of their kind. But don't take it as some kind of pressure. All right, so you're the lady. You basically have to go around through the environments trying to find all sorts of different things. There's also sometimes hidden throughout the hub world uh, these things called black boxes, which are how the story is kind of presented to you, the backstory of it. You have to collect them in the hub world themselves, and they're challenging to get sometimes. Again, playing with that element of everything's kind of a puzzle at all times. Uh, and then there's a lot of voice work, and it's a very intriguing story. I really like the story of Black Hole. I want to know more about the story of Black Hole. Um... But you definitely have to kind of play the levels to get to that. Uh, what are these challenges? Collect 100 self burns available in the store. Okay, so I guess these are kind of like achievements. Yeah, that's what I guess these are. These are achievements. And by the way, I should mention there is steamy goodness in this game. Steam cards, steam achievements, the whole shebang. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to see what is up ahead of us. I know there is like a giant portal up ahead. That's how you get to the next world. We're going to hopefully find somebody sooner or later. We'll go ahead and show you the next level. There's a giant arrow pointing there. Yeah. All right, let's do the next level, and then we'll make our way, hopefully, to that very slowly. We don't need to collect too many here. all of the lost parts, we could probably try to restore our connection with Earth. <laughs> no, we won't be contacting Earth anytime soon. Don't count on it. But we probably will be able to contact the rest of the crew. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh god! You're so naive. Not even the crew. The gravity fields are jamming every Earth made long wave signal. I can feel both hope and hopelessness in each of your jumps. Keep it up. I will keep your mind and body in good shape. Okay, so obviously they've introduced the element of ice here. Shrek and Donkey. As if this game wasn't hard enough. Right. I will say. Okay, I'm gonna tell her to shut up. I just kinda skipped her dialogue here. Um, yeah, there's, they've introduced the element of ice as if this wasn't freaking hard enough and you can't grab onto the edges of ice, it would seem, and pull yourself up. So you kind of literally just have to run against it. Oh my god! Give me a friggin' break here, man. Are you joking me? They're like, no, we're not joking you. Deal with it. Okay, well, I don't know how that would help me, but alright. Each, you know, each element here is in some way supposed to help you. So if you do see a gravity pad, it does serve a purpose. Probably the shift gravity if I had to guess here. Can I grab that? Hmm. I wonder how you get that one. Well, it doesn't really matter. We got one, so we can technically call the level if we so chose. Uh, there is another one here that we're going to grab, though. What the heck? Why not? Which is this one right uh, here. There we go. Now, how do I restore gravity? That's the question, huh? Let's just slide down very carefully. Well, that's going to be instantaneous death, though, isn't it? Yep, sure was. Gosh dang it. I don't know how you do this particular level. This one looks tough. Alright, there has to be a trick to it. There has to be a trick to it. Oh god. Ah! Oh god. Oh god! I went the wrong way. Dang it! Okay. Let's try that again. Very interesting level, I have to say. So we have to kind of slide down and then go right. And then right again. 
and left, and then left. Fantastic. And then we just jump down and switch gravity. All right, there we go. So you get the idea of how you play with those elements. I think that's kind of neat. I enjoy that aspect of the game. And yeah, you just can imagine you're going to get deeper and deeper into the game. They're going to just make it more and more complicated, guys. They're going to add more and more different things for you to have to encounter and deal with. You know, moving platforms, trampolines, all sorts of crazy stuff as you move deeper and deeper into the game here. This one's called Hellishly Deep. Let's see what this one's like. Like I said, the, as far as controls go, I sometimes felt like I was battling with the edge detection in this game. There's a couple times where the edge, like where you're grabbing onto the sides of things, can kind of really screw you over. Um, and it can be very difficult when you're trying to maneuver a particular edge. You will, of course, kind of fall and you know miss that jump. It can be very just challenging. I'm literally looking at Mario right now. Oh my god. Okay. This is good, I think. You're joking me, right? Oh god. What are you freaking insane? Oh my god. Hold on, I think I know what we need to do here. <laughs> Not that, that's for sure. Alright, jump and... Yep, that's it. That's what we need to do right there. I will say that you do instantly respawn, which is kind of nice. Oh, I made that jump. Fantastic. We could've just ended the level right here. Oh god! Or, you know, I could die and have to recollect them all. Yeah, every time you die, you have to recollect everything you've collected, by the way. So you need to do it literally in a perfect run. If you don't, uh, you have to start all over again. That could be, like I said, it's just, there's a couple of areas that just frustrated me with Black Hole. It's a fun game. It's a very challenging game to say the least. But it's 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 a very difficult game, guys. I hope you're up for a challenge. Gosh, dang it all! All right, one last time, and then we're just gonna. Freaking leave, man. Give me a break. I'm just dying by just spawning. That's kind of hilarious. Jump! Why didn't you make that jump? There has to be an easier one to get. Let's just go get this one. <sighs> you know, it's possible I just suck at the game. Very, you know, very possible I just suck at the game. Alright, so there we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go back. I just want to show you guys levels. I'm not worried about getting perfectionist right now. I just want to show you guys levels. So let's do that. We're going to end the level here. We're going to move on to the next one. Time to find Selassie. Finding Selassie. Here we go. Selassie's one of the crew, Selassie by the way. Is surely very close. Or at least his transmitter is. We need to get to that narrow passage. Good luck. I'll take a nap. All right. So we need to start moving platforms now. Please don't squish me, platform. Okay, well that's fine. But what do you mean, uh uh? Oh, we need to get all the self burns in this place to get the um, thing unlocked. Are you kidding me? That's not fair, but very well. I will see your challenge. All right, come on, come on now. Nah, we're not gonna be able to get that. That's just gonna be instantaneous death. Oh my goodness! I think you get the basic idea, though. The levels are just not easy. I'm gonna kill myself on purpose. I don't think we have much of a choice. I don't think we have much of a choice but to go that way. To be honest with you. Derp! Lava's everywhere! <laughs> For God's sakes! Okay, hold on. Can we, like... Are you serious? We can't take, like, a running... charge at this thing get into that hole there? Come on, you can do it! Just push, man! Push! You can't do it, guys. Well, we're gonna wrap up the video, guys. Like I said, it's a fun game. The graphics are good. The music is fantastic in this game. 
the, the voice acting's good. It's it all it's a very well made game. I haven't ran into many bugs at all except the fact that it hates my recorder, like I said. And it had that weird fatal memory error or whatever the hell happened there. I'm not really sure what happened there to be honest with you guys. But yeah, it's very well made. There's no bugs, guys. Um, I wish it had that controller support there, but you know, hopefully that's something that will come in the future. I'm just trying to figure this all out as we go here. I really want to know what I'm supposed to do here with this thing, like... Ah, oh, maybe I'm supposed to use that to get in there. Uh-huh. No, probably not. Let's see. No, totally not. Uh, well, that's certainly not what it's for. But you get the basic idea, guys. It has a shit ton of replay value. I'll tell you that one for free, guys. It has over 70 levels. It has those little hidden black boxes, guys. A very intriguing story. Uh, this game has a little bit something for speedrunners, those perfectionist guys. The game's going to get more harder as you move deeper. Um, like I said, just a little bit of control issues here and there. Like, a character just falls just like a brick. He's just... Sometimes he's very unruly to control and... You'll grab onto edges and make things a little bit more frustrating, a little bit harder for yourself. But I mean, you no, know, it's still a really fun game. Um, I, it's very possible I just suck at it, guys. You could be better at it. And they do refer to it as a hardcore platformer, so maybe they were. That's probably what they were all very much, you know, aiming for, guys. So th again, I'm gonna probably just wrap up this video, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. I want to say a big thanks to the developer for a chance to check out this title. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share, guys, and I'll keep bringing you awesome indie games, guys. If you really enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting up that tip jar if you're feeling generous of heart. All tips go to improving the channel or future giveaways, guys. Till next time, play more indie games.